Micron um, had, you know, we're going to kind of do a double double here on, on Micron because the company had earnings and the company also had um, some news this week. And I have a frozen computer here. So I got to pull up a couple numbers real quickly here. But um, here's the long and short of the Micron result. Uh, the, the numbers themselves were had growth. They had 38% growth on earnings, sales growth of 16%. Stock went down. You heard me say this earlier. I'm going to say it again. The market sucks. Okay. The market is extraordinarily bearish on all fronts. Commodities are down. Um, you know, inflation is high. Ga oil and gas is high. Equities are down almost across the board. Company valuations are down. Assets like homes are losing value. There's really not a lot of good in the markets. Just to be very clear, Micron's results are actually very good. So, um, you know, they, the, the, the growth of revenue, but here's the long and short. The Sanjay Marota came out and basically said uh, the forecast for, for uh, smartphones was wrong. We had a 5% growth forecast in 2022. He's now predicting a 5% decline in smartphone sales. How do they know that? Well, they sell core memory that's critical to building a smartphone and they're seeing the order flow. They're seeing the revenue flow. And therefore, effectively, their guidance went down. Their guidance is going down because they expect less. And then, Pat, on the other end, the PC guidance is even weaker. I think he was showing for a 10% decline. So the pandemic pulled forward a ton of purchasing for, for PCs, a ton of purchasing for smartphones and devices. And now with $7 gas and, you know, outrageously high grocery prices, you know, people are maybe not going to buy that phone they plan to buy right now. And so I said this a while ago. I'm going to do a victory lap real quickly, and I'm going to hand this over to you. I said... The, the the consumer discretionary will be the first of the tech areas to fall. I still think enterprise uh, spend is going to be more robust. We'll see if I'm right. I'm not saying there won't be some cuts and some intelligent strategic moves in those areas, but companies that were, um, you know, uh, in, sorry, consumers that were spending money like drunken sailors on new tech and buying multiple laptops and upgrading their phone every six months because they were getting stimulus money and free checks and their crypto was worth a fortune and their 401ks were out of control and their homes were worth unbelievable amounts of money. And by the way, they hadn't been to work in a year. That money's gone and the credit bubble is looming and booming and, and it's going to be more complex. So Sanjay just basically shot a cannon out for the first time that says some of these numbers are going to be bad. And really for tech, this is the first wave outside of some just bad performing companies where the outlooks are starting to look really a, a little bit at risk. Yeah, listen, uh, consumer is down, smartphones and and PCs. And boy, this is uh, one of the first looks at it. You know, there's there, there has been talk about, you know, where the market goes. Uh, consumer, you know, I think we saw in everybody's numbers, overall consumer uh, was low. When you looked at uh, HP and and what Dell were doing in the PC space, um, it's gonna be inter interesting to see what happens on the smartphone space. But the uh, STEMI checks are are likely uh, been consumed, and there's not a whole lot of money left. And consumers, like you said, are very sensitive to um, their viewpoint. And I think when we look at uh, consumers' biggest fears right now, in at least the political polls, it's inflation. It's the economy dummy, right? And we said that for like 50 years. So uh, consumers are concerned. Uh, they're pulling, uh, they're starting to pull back a little, at least on uh, high priced uh, white goods and, and electronics. So no surprise and Micron is caught into it. The, the great thing though, uh, that came out of the Micron earnings was that um, um, their demand for data center uh, just, just keeps going strong. And if you look at uh, what's happening um, um, at least from a product point of view, uh, they're stellar. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, some embedded announcements they did. So uh, Micron's the number one uh, memory provider to automotive and um, primarily based on their quality and, and performance. But uh, it's, it's very cool. So they have the first uh, with ASIL D on their automotive uh, DDR5 and they're sampling a, just a ridiculously sized 1.5 terabyte uh, micro SD um, uh, piece of silicon. So uh, that is absolutely uh, gigantic and typically between sampling and production uh, varying on the market between six months and a year. Uh, but you can imagine uh, increasing the density uh, by two, four X to essentially 
store all that information that that you and I are are always talking about. So, uh, listen, challenging uh, Micron uh, short term future with consumer. Uh, I'm very bullish uh, on the company on a long term basis, primarily based on its leadership uh, in DDR5, but also the scaling that that is providing out there. 